These days, spectator sports often get a bad rap. They're called everything from bread and circus shows to a waste of time. But what most people don't know is that things could be a lot worse. These are the five strangest sports ever played. Number five is the game of auto polo. Auto polo was a strange motor sport that was played in the United States in the early 1900s. The game was almost identical to normal games of polo. Only players of auto polo used automobiles to travel across the playing field instead of horses. The game involved four players, each driving an automobile, and the objective was to drive your car close to top speed while trying to score with specially designed croquet mallets. Auto polo players often would reach top speeds of 40 miles per hour while making hairpin turns. During auto polo matches, cars would often collide with each other and become entangled, with players frequently finding themselves ejected from their cars by the shock of the impact. Unsurprisingly, auto polo eventually died out as a sport by the 1920s. Number four is the Danish sport of slagkatten af tunden, which means to beat the cat out of the barrel. During the Danish carnival known as Festalden, a live black cat would be stuffed into a barrel. Then the barrel would be hung upside down from a tree. The objective of slagkatten af tunden was to use the massive sticks to beat a barrel containing a captive black cat until the barrel broke. The first person to break apart their barrel would win the sport of slagkatten af tunden. Unfortunately, in some cases, the winner of Slagkatten of Tunden wasn't even declared until the cat inside the barrel was beaten to death. Whoever won the sadistic game would be either crowned as the local cat king or cat queen. Thankfully, this sport was changed in the year 1600, and cats were no longer tormented as part of this bizarre sport, with the barrels now containing candy instead of terrified felines. Number three is the French sport of Gan de Combat. Gan de Combat was a 19th-century sport played primarily by the French upper classes. This sport was designed so the French elite could practice their martial arts skills in case they were ever attacked in one of France's many urban areas. The sport required a mixture of martial arts and sword fighting skills. Gan de Combat players wore padding to protect themselves while violently swinging at each other with thin chestnut canes. In a match of Gan de Combat, a player's striking cane must be held with one hand. Striking blows on the opposing player are made either horizontally or downward. Thrusting or stabbing blows are prohibited by the rules of the game. A match of cane de combat is won by a point system. As the lightness of the cane used in cane de combat and the protective clothing worn made a complete knockout of the opposing player impossible. While cane de combat is still played today, it does not hold the same popularity it once held during the 19th century. Number two is the sport of fox tossing. Fox tossing was a popular competitive sport that was played by the European aristocracy during the 17th and 18th centuries. As the name implies, this sport was not a very kind affair. Players would use massive slings to catapult foxes up into the air. Then the player who catapulted their fox the highest would be declared the winner of the contest. This quirky sport was not without its dangers for both the foxes as well as the players. This is because sometimes the foxes that were loaded into the slingshots would often turn on the players. And viciously attack. Unfortunately, this sport was often fatal for the foxes that were loaded into the slingshots, with few foxes surviving the impact when they landed. And number one is the Viking sport of glima. Viewed as the foundation for the Viking warrior, this sport has drastically changed over the centuries. The strange aspect of glima can be found in its Viking origins. Glima originally called for a battle to the death, in which two combatants would hurl their adversaries as far as they could. In order to break their spines, today glima is still played across all Scandinavian countries. But the game is no longer fought until the death, and belts have been added so the players can more easily pick up their opponents and throw them to the ground. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to keep up with our latest videos, hit that bell icon on mobile, or if you're on desktop, hit the gear icon and check send me all notifications. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time.